Hey guys, it's Shauna and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to do a start to finish layout video and the first thing I'm going to do is get started and show you what I'm going to use and then I'm going to try to get this done as quick as possible so that I'm not letting you watch a 30 minute video but it just might be. Okay, the first thing I wanted to share is this sketch from Creative Scrappers. Um, it's a Christine Davidson sketch, and it's number 200. Um, I will say that I'm probably going to mirror the sketch and have it on the other side of the layout, and I am doing an 8.5 by 11. Also, I'm only going to be using one picture, and that's this one of my daughter, and this is an Instagram print. <clears throat> I'm also going to use this Happy Valentine's Day stamp set from the Crafts Meow and I'm just going to show you their website real quick. This is the back of the stamp set. So it's the craftsmeow.com and I'm choosing the stamp set because I think I want to use this little banner here. It's really cute. So there's that. I got sarsaparilla buttons. I pulled out a few pieces of my mind's eye chipboard from one of their latest lines just in case and I'm not necessarily going to use all these products I just pulled these out so I'm not running all over my scrapbook room while I'm trying to do a video pulled out some Jolie's clouds some label stickers with the intent to use this date sticker <clears throat> these thickers here and then a smaller font and foam. I pulled out this stamp set as well. This is the Epic stamp set from Studio Calico because I might use this. I love this photo stamp. I'm not 100% sure. I also, ooh, drop it. Anyway, sorry about that. I pulled this out from Etsy. It's a little flare button. I've got some dark bark ink from Prima, the chalk ink. Two different washi tapes, and I have Overdue and Dewey from the Mr. Hueys from Studio Calico, and of course this is my cream cardstock for the background. The papers I'm using today are from Cosmo Cricket's Baby Jane line, and I have the intention of using these ones, but I may end up using something else, so I'm just going to put this where you can see me. Just scrap in a little angle here because it's hard to be around the camera. <clears throat> I'm just gonna get started. Okay, put my sketch over here. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is start cutting into some of my papers. <clears throat> to do about two and a half inch strips that I'm cutting right now. The sketch has one large sheet on top and I'm going to jazz it up a little bit and do two strips together. And I like to use my craft knife. Let me move this a minute. And I like to do this little swoopy cut by hand. Sometimes it doesn't always turn out right, but it looks okay there. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that on both of these. And one's going to be shorter than the other. Get this one longer. So, cut that down. I'm not doing any inking on this, I don't think. So I'm just laying this out while... I figure out what I want to do next, and then my picture is probably going to go like right here. I want that paper sticking up. Okay, leave it like that for now. <coughs> Cutting a strip for the bottom half. 
trial and error on this one. And now it's too big. I might actually cut this large enough to go behind the photo. I'm trying to think. Now let's just try that. I do not like that. Alright, let me see how long this is going to be. So I think I like that. Now I'm going to do... Oh my, Mr. Huey's, before I put down my papers and things. So I just like to do this much more than I like to mist. And you see this in a lot of my layouts. If I want a smaller little bit going, I'll do this. And then I'm going to do the same with my dewy. Shake it up good. Splash it on. I just think this gives it a lot of fun color. <clears throat> so there's that. I'm going to leave it real quick to dry it quickly. That's good enough for now. And I'm going to start gluing down my papers. And I use this Scotch ATG a lot. Start off the ends. Hopefully I have this in the right place because ETG is so sticky. I won't be able to move it much without tearing the background paper. Okay, the song. And it never goes back down the same way you had it the first time, of course. going to now try to use that stamp. This is the um, Crafts Meow stamp that I'm going to try to use and make my little banner. <coughs> so let me get the stamp block and I'm going to ink it up. And I'm going to test it on my regular paper before I stamp it on because I want to see if I like it or if it needs to be lighter or darker or whatever. It looks out of the way. I'm just going to stamp it right on my sketch thing. I think it'll be okay. I hope. <laughs> and my trial and error. Just inking up again. Real quick, I'm going to pull out my stamp pad for my stamp guys. And here we go. Hmm. I might have to fill it in with a marker later, but that's the general idea. 
Or I can go back and steam it again. So I'm not going to do that on the video. I'm just going to keep going. It doesn't have to be perfect either. Anyway, my title is going to be... I was going to do all dolled up. But I'm not sure. I want to fit all that in that space. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to do dolled up. I'm going to use my chipboard thickers for the word up. And it feels like the adhesive is a lot better. Just trying to figure out where I want to put this. I'm going to go for it and put it right here. And the yellow ones. And I'll start from the end. I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat. My allergies are driving me nuts. So, here we go. And of course you guys can fast forward this part if you wanted to. Just sticking letters down. So straight. I'm gonna pull that back up. So there is my title, and now I'm going to pull out that label sticker and see, I'm going to put it here, I think I do, but I want to do a little layer of washi under it, and I'm going to go for the red, I'm going to tear a piece off, oh it's the red polka dot forgetting to do it on camera. Get my trusty little Kirby's. And I'm going to make it look like this on the bottom. And I'm just going to cut it straight off. <clears throat> then that and go under the date sticker. Like so. It's a little bit crooked. I'm going to put this down first. date sticker will go right on top. And I'll write that in later. Let me see what, what to do. I'm looking at my sketch again. Put some more washi on the bottom. I'm going to use the grid this time. I'm going to find where it starts. So, do about that length. And I'm going to do the little cuts again. I kind of just eyeball it. I'm not really picky when it comes to being perfect. Here, put 
that there. Like that. Then, just messing around here. Okay, I'm going to put there. So I just need... to grab some... So I totally just dropped that and I don't have any idea where it rolled to. So I'm going into survival mode and using buttons instead. <laughs> Sorry about that. I like a fool, but oh well. <laughs> so let me see how that would look. I think that looks fine. So I'm going to just stick those there. Actually, let me try one of the bigger pattern buttons from this collection. This one. Could also stick twine or whatever through your buttons, but I'm not going to do that this time. Just put that there like that. Hmm. Just trying to see if I want to do something else. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Love this photo stamp. I'm going to use the same dark bark ink. And actually, let me put that closer to the top so I don't get caught up on the buttons. Line it up. And hope for the best. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I guess you can't really see that, but I stamped that along the bottom. And I think I am done. Except I have an urge to add one more little thing to the top here. And there we go. This is my layout. I'm going to move the camera around just a tad and show you. <clears throat> how it turned out. All I gotta do is write the date in and it's all finished. So this is dolled up and I thank you for watching. Leave a comment. <laughs>